What's up everybody, Thunderbolt here, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 2015. It The sun has come back up, so that means we're going to jump back on in, and we're going to start working on getting this field cut, so we can turn the grass into silage. Alright, so... So we're gonna make sure this field gets nice and cut, and then we're going to, uh... Um, can you hire a worker for this? No, you can't. So, um... I'm gonna make sure the grass gets cut, and then we're gonna move on to, uh... See, I can't see where the edge of the field actually is. I'm just gonna say it's down here somewhere. You can kind of see the edge of the field on this side. There's just a little tiny bit of uh, old crop left behind here, which is actually pretty funny. So we're just going to go around this field a couple of times, make sure it all gets cut, and then we're going to get the windrower out and put it all in the nice neat little lines. So we'll make this field look nice. And then we're going to turn all the grass into silage, which will be nice because you can sell silage for quite a bit of money, so um, that'll be nice. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this in neat rows so it's easier to clean up later. Why did the... Apparently when you turn it off, it goes back up too. It's my bad. Is that true? No, it's not. Okay, I just hit the wrong button. I, I raised it up instead of um, turned it off. Alright, so here we go. So it's a big field to have to cut, but um, it's not that bad. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying the series. Um, sorry about there being no video yesterday. Um, I just wasn't able to get it put together in time. So I try to get a video out every day for you guys. But yeah, some days it's just not with work work going on and other stuff like that sometimes I'm just not able to do it so um, so yeah sometimes there'll be days without videos oh, that's fine. I didn't realize at first that you weren't able to hire a worker to do this so, when it comes to grass and all that, I'm actually going to have to do all the work for it on my own. Which, you know, really isn't the end of the world, because, I mean, it's actually kind of cool to be able to go do something yourself, instead of having your workers do everything, which is what I have been doing, basically. So, sometimes it's nice to kind of get around and just do stuff yourself. So... Let's see how many rows should we do? I don't think I'm gonna have to do a whole thing. For some reason, it bumped back there. Sometimes you hit these little tiny bumps and then you actually miss parts of it. Um, as you saw back there. <laughs> What I'll probably do is I'll finish this pass and then go get the windrower. 
then go attach that and start making windrows so you guys can kind of see how that works. And then I'll probably um, finish cutting this field and all that off camera because it's probably kind of boring right now just to watch this. But um, I'll do a couple more rows and then I'll probably switch over to the next thing on the list. Um, and if I remember right, actually stop here for a second and make sure so that guy's good the combine is done so it's good can't unfold apparently <laughs> mean to do that. So this was a field of barley and the field is now complete. Um, so that's good. I'm gonna get it replanted soon. It's being cultivated right now. Um, field 29 over there already is cultivated. Cultivated and sown, if I remember right. Yeah, 29 is sown already, so that's good. All right, 38, I did pretty good on the top, but the bottom is not a straight line at all, so. Oh, well. You can see which parts are growing again, so growing is where I've already cut. So let's get this guy back to the farm, get him parked. all over the place right now. Can't drive in a straight line. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> all right, so let's get this way. <clears throat> Jeez, why would this thing not go straight? Right now I'm stuck up along the fence. Seriously? Thanks, game. I stuck on now. How did I get? Are you kidding me. Somehow I got stuck. <laughs> I got it stuck on that ladder on the silo. Um, that was weird. Let's get this guy parked. I'm gonna have to get a front loader at some time too because of the silage, so I'm gonna have to figure out how I can afford that. So that'll be interesting. Let's get this guy into its corner. It's pretty much where I like to park this. Wow, I'm having problems driving today. Good. Let's get this dumped off real quick. And I'll check on my storage because I'm not really sure what I have and how much of what I have to sell right now. Because we are going to have to sell some stuff to make some money, of course. Let's get the barley dumped out. Alright, so what do our stores look like? We got 15. Um, 16,000 liters of barley, you got 5,000 of canola, so it's not very much canola. Wood chips we still can't sell, I need a front loader to do that. Um, so we do got a decent amount of canola, not very much, but, um, I mean, not canola, barley. So we'll be able to sell that at some point. Um, get this guy parked here. Alright, let's get back to doing this again. So I really don't have all that much to sell right now. I might have to go chop down some more trees and sell some trees because trees actually make you quite a bit of money. So I might have to do a little more of that. Uh, let's 
make this the last one. And then we'll go get the wind rower and uh, start doing that. Probably should have a weight on the back of this while I'm doing this actually, but oh well. Don't really need it. This tractor is powerful enough to take care of it all. That'll be good. Let's drop this off here. And the wind rower and the trailer I could do at the same time. Oh no, no I couldn't actually, never mind, because the wind rower goes behind the tractor. Duh, that was a stupid, uh, that was stupid of me to say. All right, so what this will do is it will take all of this and it will make it so um, it all goes into one one little row nicely back behind um, back behind the tractor. So we'll get this guy going. It's turned on now. So as you can see, it is taking all the grass and putting it into one row. So which is awesome. It's got a cool little particle effect behind it too. So you can kind of see it to mixing it together putting it all into one row, which is pretty awesome. I'm just going to turn it off. You can take some really tight corners with this thing too, which is nice. Nice as well. So we'll go down this way. Get another row made up. And then this will this will make it easier to go through now with the trailer and uh, pick all this grass up with the trailer. I missed a little spot there. It's, for some reason it's missing little spots every now and then. I think it hits bumps and then it doesn't like bumps very much. These machines are pretty cool to take care of the grass. Um, you could get a, um, let me see what it's called, a wind, no, that's what we already got. Um, you can get a, what's it called? Oh, a tedder. What these do is they um, they ted the grass so it dries faster. It basically cuts it up into smaller pieces and then it lets the grass dry quicker so you can make hay out of it. Um, instead, you'll, you'd need that if you're going to bale it. Because you couldn't just bale the grass like this, I believe. I think you'd have to get the tether. Um, then you'd tet the grass, and then you'd windrow it, and then you'd pick it up with the baler. And then you could make bales, and then make hay bales, basically. So. There we go. One, didn't do enough. We'll just plug this into one row as well for now. And then we can get cutting the rest of the field. I guess I could have just cut all the grass along here. Just cut this whole area, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. So we're done. Pick that back up, fold it back up. So that was the wind rower, what it does. It's a pretty neat little machine. Um, I like it, I think it makes some cool effects. Uh, let's drop that right there. Let's go grab the, the wagon. this over here and what the wagon will do is you hit V to lower the little pickup and then you use V to turn the wagon on and then see it picks up the grass and dumps it into the trailer so and then what we'll do with this is we'll go bring it down to the silage pits and then it'll sit there and we can turn it into silage once we get a, a certain amount of grass put into it So this is why it was nice to get the wind rower 
Um, because the wind rower made it so it's easier to collect all this. So we don't actually miss any of it. Skip a row. Just missed some back there. So we're gonna definitely have to cut some more grass. As you can see, we're only just now hitting 25%. So we're gonna have to go and cut more grass, but I'm just kind of demonstrating how this works for now. So it keeps filling up more and more. As you can see, it's filling up from the front and then going back. So it's a neat little effect, actually. Um, let's turn it back off. Turn it back on. And then the grass fields look really nice when they're not uh, when they're fresh and cut because it looks just like a cut grass field basically. So they look pretty cool once they're cut. Um, and then they'll scroll back to that again, so you can go back through and cut them again. Alright, sweet. Alright, and that's kind of how the wagon works. Um, and then we gotta take it to... We gotta take it down to the biogas plant. So let's get back out this way on the main road. And I'll just kind of show you guys where this goes, and then we'll probably end this episode because we're already at 17 minutes. So there's the biogas plant down there in the middle. That's where we gotta go. Car move! And hit my train. The AI in this game is horrible. It just doesn't understand anything or doesn't stop or anything, it just keeps going. It's a freight yard, I've actually never been here to sell anything, because they never have the best prices on anything. And job sign there. The biogas plant is kind of down here. Big forestry area over here, just past the biogas plant. Also, that all those big trees there—that's like a big. That's just forestry. That's what that area is designed for. It's for you to go and cut trees down at. You can see there's little roads in it that go around all over. And I passed the entrance. <laughs> all right, let's turn in here. And then we'll take this into these one of these little pits here, and this will let us um, unload it. And then we'll have to compact it down. So you can see its fill level is only 2%, and it's 24% compacted, so uh pop the trailer off here go over here and we'll compact this down it's 87 88 it's 100% compacted now so the fill level is only 2% <laughs> so we definitely definitely have to go get more grass to fill that up more I don't think it'll start making silage until it gets to a certain level, even. Um, so let's connect this guy back up. Is there an, an exit? So here's where you can you can dump bales into there, I believe, and make it into silage, or liquid silage, or something like that. I think that's how that works. 
not actually sure what these tanks are for. I'll have to go back over that again. That that tank, I think, does something also. So I'll have to figure that out in between the episodes. Um, but for now, we are at the 20 minute mark. So um, let me go ahead and let's check them. This guy is done. Um, so he's going to have to go pick up the sower again. So anyways, I'll get out here. Um, 6.20 in the morning. Um, we are running a decrease today. Let me look at my finances. So Tuesday, um, we did fifty nine sixty thousand dollars of um, harvest income. We didn't make anything on Wednesday, and I lost I lost seventy eight thousand dollars on Wednesday. Ouch. Um, so yeah. Our balance right now is 18 minus our loan. So we're technically sitting at negative 141,768 euro right now. Um, so we're going to have to fix that soon. But anyways, uh, thank you for watching the episode, guys. This is Thunderbolt signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.